Here we go again with more truth revealed about Wendy Williams. It seems that her cheating husband is still seeing his mistress and isn't afraid of showing it. It seems that everything that I've been saying for years was true. <laughs> None new there. that Kevin Hunter, uh, Wendy's husband, was seen on vacation with this mistress. Apparently this mistress is always close by and Wendy knows it, but this is what she had to say about their union. She said this, Wendy knows about Sharina, but is willing to put up with it as long as there's an understanding that there would be no baby and she doesn't get humiliated. It was even told that Kevin is in love with Sharina but he told her he can't leave his wife, but the only reason he is still with Wendy is because he and Sharina can't take care of themselves. They need Wendy's money. This is a source told Daily Mail, and I said this years ago, but this is what Daily Mail is saying. It seems that this Sharina chick has given Kevin many ultimatums to leave Wendy, which what I've been saying, he uh, put her through school for a massage therapy. He opened a kiosk for her at the mall in North Carolina where she's from. He helped her set up a jewelry and clothing line online called V-I-S-H or Vish, but none of her businesses have been a good success. Heck, he even bought her a $700,000 luxury two-bed condo 30 miles away in Fort Lee in New Jersey. You see, the spending doesn't stop there. Just recently, he bought himself a brand new green Rolls Royce SUV, which cost upwards of $325,000. Meanwhile, Wendy has had a relapse and is desperately trying to battle her sobriety and her brand. But the question that I am sure everyone is wondering is why she haven't left his sorry ass yet. Well, let's go back yet again. finally taking a girl's trip with his best friend she had for years. But here's the kicker. She was high that day, and this friend of hers is rumored to be her lover and have been for years. You see, Wendy's husband and she have an agreement. Well, they have one now, because from what I was told, they're separated, but still like to front like they're still together, and I have said this before. But she's trying to make us believe that they're this perfect couple, you know what I mean? But here's the truth. She seems to be very tired of his cheating, but she doesn't want to divorce him because of her image which we all know is built around her being married you know the kevins like she pretty much brags about all the time so anyway so back in the day while on the radio show she tried to ruin the name and reputation of judge mathis and he went off and exploited all of her abortions she had that i've read about miscarriages bisexual activities all of it he snapped like well Rumor is that the crew at the TV station knows that Wendy gets beaten regularly and they kind of learn to live with it and keep their mouths shut. There were a couple incidents, however, where Wendy was to do an appearance with the former stripper and was best friend of Wendy, but now a reality star, Nene Leakes, got into it when Wendy made some comments on air about Nene and her husband chemistry. Well, Nene don't play that, as we all know, and she sent Wendy a nice long letter telling her she doesn't know about her relationship and she shouldn't talk well rumor is Wendy got her ass beat for running her mouth about Nene because the rumor is is that um, Nene and her husband may have had an affair back in the day mm -hmm. yeah and Nene knows some things and you don't want to become her enemy because she probably would spill all the tea please spill the tea Nene <laughs> Then there was a feud with one of Kevin Hunter's assistants, and that's Kevin Hunter, her husband. It seems Kevin loves this woman to wear short skirts and tight clothes, hence Wendy Williams' attire on the show. Well, the intern for Kevin didn't like that, and she got fired and filed a lawsuit thereafter, claiming the clothing requirements and sexual advancements that Kevin Hunter made was a bit inappropriate. She also said that she didn't understand the crew on why they had to clear out on certain times. But one time she didn't clear out and she heard Kevin yelling at Wendy 
and Wendy was crying and Kevin was calling her all kinds of bitches and it sounded like he was slamming her against the wall. She also said that the crew feel sorry for her. This is Wendy. Feel sorry for Wendy because Wendy is being pimped by Kevin and he controls everything and everything have to go through him and their lawyer. He has a lot of mistresses allegedly and Wendy knows it and she ignores it. And also, also Kevin Hunter, Wendy's husband, never likes to be seen on TV because he's afraid of being exposed and he also doesn't like to wear his wedding ring, which Wendy Williams blindly admitted on her show one day. And you see, the truth doesn't stop there. He may also have had something to do with the death of her late wigologist, Antoine Jackson. And I said this a year ago or so ago. Take a look at this. Now, the death of her hairstylist, Antoine Jackson. Well, it seems he had just returned from a vacation with his fiance, Dante Savoy, a fellow hairstylist. They came from Mexico. Now, here's the tea. Antoine posted an Instagram photo of them in Mexico looking happy, having a wonderful time. His fiance also posted a video of them, just in love, you know, all of that. Then you see a week before the new season starts, Antoine posts a photo of his week designs he did for Wendy for her wigs. Now, they're saying he died from lupus, but they don't really know. And that's not true. Let's go deeper. Okay, you all may not know this, but right before Antoine supposedly died, Kevin Hunter, you know, Wendy Williams' husband, went to Wendy trying to get her to hire this Robin girl who's obsessed with Wendy, but really is close with Kevin, her husband, and is secretly hired to keep an eye out on Wendy whom she is obsessed with, by the way. Yeah. You see, this Robin girl is to have low self-esteem and depression issues. And is often posting quotes and trying to motivate herself and keep up her spirits. Nothing wrong with that, but she does it excessively. Okay, now, it was days before the season to begin, and Antoine started getting his styles together. He even posted a pic, which I stated before. When he gets an unexpected visitor. Now the neighbors say they heard yelling and then the door slam, but they never paid any mind because Antoine and his boyfriend are always fighting supposedly. So anyway, one neighbor said she seen a couple of dudes speed away in the car, but she didn't think too much of it. You know, whatever. And then next thing you know, he's dead just days before the season began. And Robin is quickly hired. You make the call. Yep, this is what Wendy Williams is dealing with. You see, she's scared of her life, her money, her brand, because it was told Kevin said that the only way Wendy Williams would be able to leave him will be over her dead body, not his dead body, her dead body. I honestly think he's preparing for that now. I mean, they don't have a prenup, you guys, and I've said this plenty of times, they don't have a prenup. She became who she was while they were married. She wasn't, you know, this glamorous uh, millionaire you know before he got before they got married she became that while they were married so he's entitled to half everything or probably everything who knows and i'm sure she's worried that he's probably going to write some tell-all book or something and revealing all kinds of stuff i mean he's going to take her down with him i mean and wendy she comes across as a strong individual very opinionated but that's just a facade of a weak and scared woman that's what she truly is a weak and scared woman I'm just going to leave it there, but I am going to say this about this because um, <laughs> you guys have no idea. I mean, th this is what's really, really crazy, and I've been saying this shit for years, and, and, and what's really irritating is that now people, news blogs and other channels want to finally speak about this, also lying about the damn source of their information. While I'm here to tell you their information comes from me, yes, me. No one told them shit. These other channels are literally piggybacking from my freaking stories. While I'm battling YouTube legal team and multiple news and televised corporations, but they're getting paid, like I said in my Instagram post. I'm happy that you all finally see the truth, but I'm also pissed that I, I'm still getting punished for it. Maybe I should yell and curse and be ghetto and be fake concerned and neutral. You know, a kiss ass. You know, go with the sheep. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to continue being me. Because, like I've said before, this is the truth show. And I'm going to bring you the truth whether you don't like it or not. If you don't want to hear the truth and anything I'm saying is a reality check and you think I'm full of shit, you guys have to understand. There are other channels who pretend to be other people and comment in my
comment section, starring all kinds of mess. Don't think I know who you are. I am a computer expert. I do have a degree in computer science, so don't go, don't go there with me. But I'm gonna go ahead and let that ride. You know what? I'm done. Don't forget to stop and shop in my online merchant store. And also don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post on them every day. Hope to see you all there. Love you all. Bye.